Um, this video is to show install where show us installing the uh, bearing, tri shaft bearing, uh, and the prop shaft seals in the bearing carrier. Um, it's in this particular case. It's a this is a 1988 unit uh, Cobra, and our part number is 11410. And the the bearing is a Torrington. And it has a rounded edge on one side and a flat edge on this side. The flat edge is going to face us, and we're going to install it with a a seal installer. Actually. Would simply you just put it flat against the flat side here um, and install it into the housing. That's. So we simply take it in, line it up, and then you simply tap it down. would be it there. If, if however this didn't this uh, did not go in snugly and for whatever reason this was loose you could use a 680 uh, Loctite on the outside of the bearing or the inside of the bearing housing uh, before you slid it through. Um, and the same goes for the seals. In this case we use a, a lacquer thinner. Simply take some lacquer thinner, we wipe the seal area um, the seals come out of a seal kit lower unit seal kit, our number is an 87656 again this seal kit is for a 1988 uh, Cobra large hub that I'm using this for um, the seals go back to back and I have a preference to using the 680 Loctite for the seals so that when we pressure test it at uh, 15 to 20 pounds that the seals don't pop out. Often if I use aviation gasket compound the seals will pop out so In most cases you can press these in with your fingers. So can, you can understand if you can press them in with your fingers that they would normally pull out relatively easy um, once you get 20 pounds of air in there when you're pressure testing it if you don't use the Loctite to hold it. The disadvantage of Loctite is you need to heat the unit up in order to get the seals out at a later date when you have to change the seals uh, two or three years from now. The advantage is if you have any scores or slots from pulling the old seals out or gouges in the outside walls that the 680 Loctite will fill it in. Uh, in our case, we just use a large socket. Um, not sure what size it is here. Um, just something slightly smaller than the seals themselves. Uh, this particular one is an inch and a quarter uh, socket, but anything that will grab the edge of the seal, and you can just just tap it so it's uh, about a 30 second in from the outside. That will work fine. And just check to make sure that there's no excess aviation gasket compound or Loctite on the bearing itself on the inside. Because that would uh, make the bit that would seize the bearing up. And that's pretty much all there is to it.